Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're going to talk about five advanced hidden features built inside of your Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Now this first one is dealing with being able to find anything on your phone, if it's something inside of a text message, even if it's handwritten. So how you're able to do this is pull down the notifications panel twice, go to the search button, and then type in what you're looking for. Again, it can find a application, it can search for things on the web, anything that's handwritten, and anything inside of a text message, and so on and so forth. So this first one, I have a note that is written inside of Samsung Notes, and I had the word pricing in there because it was just a fake little note that I wrote to call a little bit about you know pipe cleaner, call for pricing, things like that. But you can see that when I typed out what I was looking for, it found it when it was handwritten and written and put a little square around it. Now this next hidden feature, it kind of works along the same way with this one. We're inside of Samsung Notes. So this is the advanced hidden feature number two. This is a way that you're able to look at a note and you can hover over that number and you're able to give it a call. So this is the same thing, like let's say maybe you wrote down somebody's email, uh, maybe you wrote down somebody's phone number and you don't wanna retype it back in, you know, into the dialer. So let's hover over this little phone number here and you can see that it has a phone icon there. Now, once you put in the phone icon, it automatically inputs it and you're able to give it a call. It's just one of those nice things where you run into somewhere, uh, you're talking to customer service, you run into an old friend, you see a billboard uh, and you didn't really put it in the dialer, but you wrote it down because maybe you had to write some other things down. Now you don't have to double time it and be like, okay, I have it all written down. Now I gotta put it in my dialer. Hidden feature number three is gonna be inside of your edge panel. Now let's say that maybe that there is a photo that you always show all the time. Maybe it's a photo of your puppy. Maybe it's a photo of a family album, a daughter, your, your fiance, a wedding day, just something that you always tend to always show people. So this was an image uh, that was taken on October 16th, 2019, so that's a few months ago. I would have to go into my gallery and scroll all the way down. I'd have to try to find it and see where it is. I could also put this one as a star or a favorite, but this is just a way that you're able to go right inside of your edge panel, click it, done, over, and finish. So it's super quick, super easy. So how you're able to set this up is open up your edge panel, scroll through until you find tasks. Now, if you don't have the task panel, just go underneath your settings, select tasks, it's gonna show up. It brings you this panel here. Go to the plus button. You're gonna scroll down to underneath where it says gallery, select your image. It's gonna open up your gallery as you scroll through to find that one image that you've been looking for. Once you add it in, then it'll be saved right there. Hidden feature number four is playing with the edge panel color. So you can see here very faintly that there's actually a green little tab. So originally you were not able to change the color. I believe you were maybe able to start changing it maybe with the Galaxy S10 or with a couple of the previous updates. But once you open this up, go inside of your settings, and then on the top right hand side, go inside of your handle settings. And this is where you can choose it if you want to go left or right. You can even lock the position. You can show your transparency, you know, how big it is, things like that. So I usually have mine right around there. I have my transparency low because I do like seeing this color. It's actually pretty cool. But this is where you can change the, the color. If you want it to be black, if you want it to be blue. Uh, yellow. You can really choose any of these ones. You also have your entire color spectrum sitting here. So if there's a particular color of green that you want to choose, you can go through, hit on done, and then it's going to be stored there. So I do like this color green. I'm going to keep it there. Uh, this is something that's kind of new. You might have gone through your settings, you know, at the very beginning of getting a phone, uh, but you've never really gone back maybe after the color options was sitting there. But uh, this was something I discovered the other day, and I was super excited to share it. Now for the last hidden feature, we're gonna go inside of the camera. And this was something that used to be one step less to do. And it was the ability of changing the brightness of whatever situation you're in. Originally, you would have to tap the screen once. It pulls up that little display brightness you're able to do if you want it darker or lighter. But now what you have to do is you have to press and hold, which is gonna bring you your autofocus and auto exposure lock. And then the brightness line comes in. Don't know why that has happened. I believe this is kind of new with the last update. I used to remember just tapping the screen, changing the brightness, and I was done. So let me show you what I'm kind of talking about. So first off, I'm just gonna take a picture of whatever I see in front of me here. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press and hold where I'm about to take the picture. Uh, and then we're gonna bring in a little bit of auto brightness and you're gonna be able to see that you can make the image look just a little bit better. Now you're gonna see that this really comes into play. You know, maybe if you were, uh, let's say maybe you're outside or you're at a concert or something like that. So this is what it looked like from before. There's a lot of glare. There's a lot of just not clean lines, not clean light. But when you go here, it's just, it's solid. Everything looks really good. Nothing is really blurred out. So kind of depending on your situation, you can either bring it up or you can also bring it down uh, and you can get some really good images. So a perfect example of this is when you have something extremely important that you want to take a picture of, but there's a lot of back lighting. So it used to be really bright. I couldn't really see everything on the table, but when you change the brightness, you're able to get images like this and it still looks really good outside, uh, but you're not going to have that crazy glow that usually happens. You're going to have very solid lines and a really sharp image. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.